what's up this is isaiah b i appreciate you guys checking out the videos for the likes the comments the subscriptions and everything i really appreciate that and i promise keep the videos coming you know i will definitely get my best effort and you know that's it so in today's video i want to talk about your 20s i want to talk about that period from 20 years old to 30 years old and the importance of that time now this topic came to mind because a lot of people are fed the misconception that your 20s is just a period to um not take serious and it doesn't mean anything because once you get to your 30s you know life is automatically going to become serious so that's a period when you should start to worry but in your 20s, nah, don't worry about it. And that's far from the truth because a lot of people who are older will even tell you that when it comes down to their 20s, they wish they would have took it a little bit more serious. You know, they wish they would have put more effort, more time, more dedication to whatever they want to accomplish. And that can be something that can come from um, a doctor who became a doctor later in life a lawyer who became a lawyer later in life or just even anyone who's starting up a business in their mid to late ages, you know, they'll let you know that they wish their 20s was a period of dedication and hey, just just staying focused, you know, because focus. That's the word a lot of people in their 20s don't tend to hear much, you know. Unless that focus is referring to let's focus on where the next party is or where the drinks are, you know, or, you know, where the club is. But for the most part, you know, focus and someone in their 20s is like it's two different, you know, topics for some reason. And your 20s, you know, is a period where more times than not, someone's just moving out their house and. You know, this is a time where they're typically on their own, whether it's college or they move to their own spot. But they typically become independent at this time for the very first time. So they're still learning the world and still, you know, trying to engage and also keep up with their own responsibilities. And I get it. But at the same time, you know, when it comes down to just the seriousness of life, this has to be present. You know, you have to have a very um, sustainable way of thinking, you know, so like not just thinking about living in the moment or just going through the motions, but to really have a plan in place, you know, and a lot of people in their 20s tend to not have a plan in place for several reasons. One is because um, the media. You know, Hollywood tends to show the movies, the shows, and as well as the music where the character or the person who's being spotlighted is always this 20 year old something who's um, vibrant and full of energy and loves to party and is witty and, you know, is also trying to maintain his job and. You know, the person always has a very inconsistent sex life and, you know, the person's overall all over the place. And, you know, a lot of people who are watching and taking in this media will tend to believe this and will tend to almost mimic that. You know, so even though it's just a show and this person's getting paid whatever amount of dollars to act like this character... You know, people tend to imitate that and you can see it, you know, you see it like your average 20 year old is just wilding, you know, and is living a very chaotic and very unpurposed um, life. You know, they're just in any direction, you know. And so when you really think about it and you really take it in, you know, you really have to understand society in general because society seems to 
make people believe that the 30s is a period where, you know, they're supposed to take life serious. But the 20s will get erased. It'll get uh, scratched out for whatever reason. But that's not true. You know, a lot of people hung with the wrong crowd. You know, let's be real. Got into drugs, you know, got locked up, got a prison record, you know, got that loan that they shouldn't have had. And I know people don't want to say it, but let's keep it 100. A lot of people, you know, made babies in their 20s. Even in say teens that they probably shouldn't have. You know, that's a tough pill to swallow, but we got to keep it real, though. A lot of people made a lot of mistakes in their 20s that cost them the rest of their life. You know, now I'm not saying that one should have a stringent life and it should be 100 percent structured and that person can't have fun. I'm not saying that. But what I'm saying is that person needs to have a plan. They need to find out what their purpose is. But once you have a plan, you have a purpose. Now you just strategically make a uh, direction towards whatever you want to accomplish. You know? So there has to be a balance with it. You know? So you can party, you can have fun. But also keep in mind, if I party and I have fun right now, is this going to distract me or move me off of my purpose long term down the line? That's how you got to think of it, you know? So, for example, let's say you want to become a doctor, right? Now, you're in your 20s, you know, you're having fun, but then you get caught up in drugs. You know, you get caught up on something serious and a hardcore drug such as uh, heroin, right? If you caught up in heroin... What's the likelihood that you'll become a doctor? Let's be honest. Recovery is possible, you know, so this isn't anything to try to say it's impossible. But I'm just talking about as far as the probability and thinking long term. What's the possibility? You know, it'll be tough to say the least. You know, it'll be a very bumpy road be balancing you know the doctorate with you know the drug abuse you see now this is something like i said a lot of people who are older will tell you they wish they took their 20s serious they wish they had a plan they wish they put in the effort and the time right now you know even if it's learn about business and learn about the mistakes that people made at their older years or later in their careers even simply just learn about that can go a long way because now you can learn from other people's mistakes and if you're in your 20s and you still have that energy that uh vibrant energy that radiance to get things done and you have direction and you learn from others you'll be unstoppable you'll be unstoppable because opportunity once it meets preparation there's a goal accomplished you know preparation and opportunity equals goals achieved you know so this is something I want people to think on and uh, definitely give me your input on it, you know, because, uh, you know, your 20s is a very pivotal time. You know, it's one of those times where it can make or break you, you know, especially when you are in college or you're in, in a trade and you're setting up for the rest of your life, you know, because you don't want to be one of those people who have regrets. You know, when you're in your 50s, 60s, and you're thinking, damn, I'm in a career that I hate. Because I didn't take the time to really try to figure out what I want. I was trying to please my parents. I was trying to please my friends. I was trying to please everyone but me. And I didn't take my life serious. 
know, things happen, you know, it is what it is. But if you're able to be diligent and figuring out what you want to do and have application with your um, practicality, then you're off to a good start, you know, and you're still young. So you're able to, you know, bounce back, you know, in a sense, you know, because you're doing learning, you're growing, you know, throughout the entire process. So. Hey, man, just wanted to share this video with you guys, you know, and talk about your 20s, you know, don't let those movies, no shows for you, you know, don't let society try to tell you what you should be doing. You talk to people who are older, you become practical in your thinking and really figure out what's going to work, you know, not what, you know, you sh should be told or what you're being expected of. No. Figure out what's practical and what actually works. Because this is one thing where people tell you one thing as far as the media or society versus what it actually is, you know? And I'm telling you, there are people who are in their 50s, 60s who are living with regrets and there's nothing they can do about it, you know? They could, you know, try to fulfill it, but eh, they have other things that they have to fulfill now, you know? There's other things on their plate. But while you're in your 20s, and you don't have much or you have little on your plate. There's no kids. You probably don't have a spouse yet. You know, you have nobody to really focus on except for you. So setting up a plan to make sure that you're in the best hands. That's your job. All right. So that's it, man. That's all I wanted to say. You know, wanted to make this video about that, uh, that 20 year old to 30 year old process and, you know, certain things to try to. Uh, consider. All right. So that's it. That's all I got you guys and peace. Love you guys.